Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and today I am doing my last video for my first theme week for this year. I have been doing a lethal week, my second lethal week and this lethal week, oh my god, I have done with my pre-made palettes. So maybe should we do a recap? I did start off this week with the Yulina palette. I will leave all the videos down in the description. I started off with this palette, did an amazing look. Then I went over to the After Dark that I did a purple look actually, which I do like, even though this is not my favorite palette. Then I went on to the Velvet Dusk and I did an amazing completely matte look because this shade is an amazing matte shade and yesterday I did do a look with a lethal is dead that is the Carissa Teresa is dead collab where I did a greenish look and today it's time for the Berlin 8 and 9 and I think I've decided what I want to do I think it has a multi-chrome in this one, this Breakthrough, which I do love. I did use it in my first impression and fell in love with it. But I'm actually thinking about doing like a grey, purpley, black look. So I guess that I will just start. So I will prime my eyes, try to do this rather quick. And why I want to do this rather quick is because this video is going up in two hours. So good. <laughs> so good planning. But okay. For my crease, I haven't like decided if I want to go in with this grey one or how I want to do or if I want to go in with this. But it feels like this maybe can fuck it up. Maybe I should go in with this brown. If I'm using this one, this one, this, this and this. I don't know if I'm going to use the black. Okay, I will take this one, the brown one, THF. And I did fix my hair today, I did cut my bangs. I cut it kind of short, I usually don't have it this short, I have it sometimes this short. I think I do like it. First I was like, what the fuck have I done? But now I think I do like it. And I, okay. I don't know what, why I'm telling you this. I did also uh, shave my undercuts. And I don't know if you never have had uh, like a shaved part of your head. I did have a side cut before and it was the same th time then. Like when it's newly cut like this, I bus cut it like the shortest as I can. It's like, is it called Velcro? I think it's called Velcro. And like all the other hair gets stuck in it. I don't know if you can see. Like if I do like this it gets stuck. And it's so annoying. And I guess if you have never had. Maybe if your partner is having a shaved head. And your head has get stuck in their bus cut. I guess you know the feeling. But I, I don't like it. But I. I did look so disgusting earlier today. You know when your hair is really really greasy and uh, yeah my undercuts was kind of long, my bangs was kind of long and then I just did take a shower, fixed my hair and then everything feels a little bit better. It's now like am I not following what I thought I was doing in the beginning. Maybe not. This was a nice brown one though. And I don't know what like. I was so good in time with this theme week. Like I was. Uh, I had one video left. Like I did re record. I did record them in time. And start to editing in time. And upload in time. But then. I saved yeah the last one. In the beginning of this week, I was like done with all videos except for this one. And I was like, yeah, I have the whole week. 
like it's going up on Friday, I can make it. And then at work, people started to get sick. People had one or two days off and nothing did go as planned, if we say it like that. The week didn't turn out what I thought it was going to be. I worked much more than I thought I was going to and I have also been a little bit more tired. And also another thing that's happened. I don't know if I've talked about this and I don't know why I'm talking about this because this was this video is maybe not need to be a short but yeah I'm going to have to edit render and upload it in two hours maybe it's going to be a little a little bit late but um, I don't know if I talked about that I yeah, I think I'm going in with a black one deep and normal grease that I was going to uh, go and check my eyesight and I did and I do see kind of good they said like if you want glasses you can have it but you don't need them it it won't make such a big difference but I got like these I have no idea what they are called in English uh, you know these one not like blue light glasses but one kind of blue light those glasses that you have in front of the computer to so it's going to be a little bit more nicer for you in Sweden it is called bildskärmsglasögon so like screen glasses maybe I should google this so I did actually got those and I did pick them up um two days ago so I had them at work yesterday and I have not get like a headache I I'm sitting in front of the computer most of my work day not all days but most of them and when I've done it I'm a little bit tired in my eyes I I do not have a headache or anything but you know just a little bit tired in your eyes and I've been that and I wasn't yesterday, so it felt good. So maybe it's helping, I don't know. <sighs> Probably. Um, so yeah, I got the glasses to have to work. Um, okay, now I don't know if I want to take the purple one or the gray one. Which way do I want to go? Maybe I should swatch these. Hmm, because I also want to take this shimmer. I don't know, is, is this the vibe or is this the vibe? Vibe, vibe, vibe. Maybe I, maybe I should just do a gray wing, gray wing, <laughs> a gray look. So I'm going in with gray and now gray is not uh, the thing I love the most, but I'm starting to like, like it, so. I'm guessing, soon it's like only blue that is the color that I'm not super thrilled about when it comes to makeup. Maybe I shouldn't say that until I'm done with this gray look, but I did a gray look with the side by side palette from Nabla that I did really like. Yeah, I do think I like this. I don't know why, but I always thought like gray is such a boring eyeshadow color. Because it's just gray. But maybe it is not that boring. Maybe I have to change my mind again. Like realize that uh, most of the colors are actually fun. I'm just going in with the black one a little bit. And you seem to really have liked this lethal week and that makes me so happy. I think it has been really really fun to play with my palettes from lethal because that is not a thing that I often do. And like especially the Yulina palette was so fun to play with again. 
and also like this I'm like embarrassed how little I've used this palette but I guess that is the case when you're having a lot of eyeshadows okay I'm going in with my glitter primer from NYX and I'm going to go in with this transit so I'm going to do a half cut crease and I'm so I really need to wash my brushes now again I just think it is so boring and I always like wait until all my brushes are dirty so it takes such a long while and I know myself if I'm not doing all the brushes at the same time or dirty yeah. not going to do them that is just the way I work but like now I'm having now I'm cutting my crease with an eyebrow brush that is how far it has come this shimmer and I don't think I've used this I can't remember I think I've used this palette maybe two times first impression and then I think I've used it another time as well so I far from using all of the shades and I think that this was one of the latest purchases I did from lethal I think I bought this one a multi-chrome single and did I buy rapture at the same time I think I did. Which I'm really happy that I did because that is one of my absolute favorite lipsticks. Okay, this is a really nice shimmer as well. It's, it is like a little bit pink as well. Just going over with the gray one. Okay, I don't know if I'm super in love with it. It feels like my cutting the half cut crease isn't the best, but I did it with an eyebrow brush. So I guess it has to do. I think it will like look better when I have something underneath my eyes, some eyebrows, some makeup, some lipstick. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I will cut the other crease, fix my base and everything, and then I come back and... I was thinking if I'm going to do a review on the palettes, but I think I'm not. No, okay. Uh, I will fix everything and then I'll come back. This is the finished look and I do love it. For my wash line, I did use Peach Fast from Colourpop on my face. I did use my contour stick, uh, liquid blush from Lumine and things everywhere and this flux highlighter from lethal and on my lips I use rapture now again I just love this I this is like my favorite lipstick and absolutely my favorite red it is so I just love it so so much and yeah this is the look with the Berlin 89 palette and I do really like it I yeah, I don't know. I do like it a little bit pink, a little bit gray. Yeah, it turned out better than I thought. Like first, first I thought it was a good idea. Then I thought it wasn't the best idea. But now when the look is done, I do really like it. And um, yeah, this looks, I don't know doesn't look that uh, when I see like in the, the mirror it looks a little bit pinkish when I see it in the viewfinder it doesn't look pinkish when I look at it it doesn't look pinkish but it is but yeah I do like it I don't know about this palette though the, the star of the show is really breakthrough I am so bad at this when you see it now it's pinkish when I look at it from it here, it's green. It's just... 
uh, this was one of the first multichromes. This was the first multichrome I tried from Lethal and one... Yeah. I don't know where I'm going with this. But yeah, this is the look and uh, the last look for my Lethal week. I think it was so, so fun. And uh, to do it with uh, the palettes because my first Lethal week I did with my singles. And the thing with me and Lethal, like, I have never been into singles. Like, I had some Makeup Geek singles a long, long while back that I did like, but then I have never liked singles that much. But then Lethal came and I started to like singles. Um, but yeah, the palettes, I, I don't use them that much. I don't know why, but it's just like Lethal is the singles brand for me, but... I do really like this. And I do really like the Yulina palette. I don't know why I don't use this. Yeah, I do know. Because not a lot of people talk about this. I did talk about this in the video where I did use this. That it feels like this came really early in Lethal. With Lethal and also with uh, influencer from Germany. So I don't think that like... Not that many outside of Germany did buy this. I don't know. Why do I keep nagging on when I have kind of a deadline with this? But yeah, I am so happy that you have liked this week. It has been so fun to do theme week again. I will do more of this this year. I think I will try to go with like one week a month where I do theme week. I have not decided what my next theme will be. I don't know if it's going to be a color, if it's going to be a brand or what it's going to be. I have no idea yet. Um, I have some things written down but I haven't decided. And yeah, I just said that was all for this video. <laughs> I do hope that you like this one as well. I think my favorite look was Either with the Yolina palette or the Velvet Dusk. Maybe the Velvet Dusk. It was so fun to do a whole matte look, actually. But yeah, I'm going to stop now. Going to end this. Going to edit this video so it will be up. So this week will be done. So yeah, I do really hope you like this. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!